Hello YouTube, this is Vaughn2480. I'm here with a nail tutorial. I'm going to use the stamping plates that I bought from the Born Pretty store that I showed you all in one of my videos. I already did my toes and I used this image right here. Hope it's showing up good. But I use this image right here. And now I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using. This one for my hand. So if you would like to. To see please stay tuned. Okay everyone. I used uh, my base coat. Pache. I found this at Ulta. And this is a nail strengthener. So this is what I use on my nails. As well as. This OPI nail strengthener. I use both of those as a, a base coat. And I'm using. This color by Finger Paints and it's called Ink Block Blue. I know it came out, I think, either last summer or spring in the Finger Paints collection. And they brought it back this year also with some new um, colors. So I started painting my nails. I painted my toes earlier. And this color ends up being a matte color. So... I painted um, the first three nails already. I'm going to do these two for your own camera. But um, it's, it's fairly thin. But I thinned it out a little bit. Because I've had it for a while. So it was kind of thick. But overall it goes on pretty well. As you can see on this nail I'm painting. If you watched... A previous video where I did the ASP nail forms. I took the form off my nail. I just decided to let it grow out. The nail forms worked well. So it was no problem with it. I just changed my mind. But you want to put thin coats on. And I might... Put another coat on. But it's a real matte color. But with my top coat. It's going to be shiny. So. And make sure you cap your free edge. I forgot it on this one. But I'm going to paint my other hand and I'll be back. Okay everyone, I'm back. I uh, finished painting my nails. Then I put on this glitter polished by Finger Paints. It's called Sparkle Top Coat. So I put that on top of it. So now the polish looks very shiny. It's really a matte polish. So... After I did that and I let them dry, I put this C&D top coat air dry on top of it just so it could dry faster. So I could stamp on top of it. I got this idea from Lorraine CD. So if you make a mistake, you won't have to worry about redoing your whole nail. 
And normally when I do make a mistake, I have to redo my whole nail. So this is what um I used. And they are dry, so I'm going to start stamping. And again, hope you can see it without a glare. I'm going to be using this image right here. So I'm going to get started. I'm using the stamper that I uh, got the other day with um, my new stamping plates. And I'm going to use Conan white polish. And I'm also going to use the Simple Colors white polish to give you all the idea to see if. Um, if it will show up just as bold as the Conad polish. And I have uh, two Conad scrapers. And also a Conad stamper just in case. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to use the Conad polish first. I know some people say don't put the polish all over the plate, but that's just my preference. That's what I like to do. But you line the stamper up with your nail, and you roll it on to there. And this is the design. I was trying something different with the glitter on top of it. It's very blingy. So now I'm going to use this sinful colors white and see. And after each use, you want to clean it up. I have some remover behind me. redo it sorry sometimes I do make mistakes you all I didn't put it all the way on the stamper but it happens and that's what it looks like on the stamper I'm gonna take it Line it up and roll it onto my nail. And it shows up just as bold as the Kone polish. I smeared it just a little bit, but it's okay. I'm gonna put top coat on it. But I'm gonna do the rest of my nails and I will be back. Okay, everyone, I'm finished stamping, and this is what my nails look like. They really look good. I hope it's showing up very good on camera, but as you can see with this short nail, it looks good, but you see the one next to it is longer, so the image doesn't go all the way up. I know some YouTubers were talking about cheeky plates. Um, I think their images are bigger and some other companies so but I'm pleased with it even though it doesn't go all the way up on my long nails I have no complaints I really like the plates the images were sketched very well so I have no problems with that but I'm going to uh, take some pictures at the end so you all can see it clearly I think my lighting is doing better so you all can see the images a little better. But I thank you for watching. I'm going to put uh, this acrylic top coat on top of it. And then I'll take some pictures, okay? I thank you for watching. And please thumbs up this video if you like it. And please, if you want me to do more nail tutorials, please thumbs up this video. Please leave comments below. I won't bite, I promise. You can leave comments below. Just be kind. And I thank you for watching. Please check me out on Instagram at DivineDiva633. I also 
take pictures on that site. I update it regularly so and take pictures regularly so you can see um my nails, my outfits, my hair, whatever you would like to see, please follow me on Instagram. Also I'm at Twitter at Divine Diva six thirty three. Please like my Facebook page, Divine Diva thirty three. And also I have my website. When you look for my website, please put H T T P in front and then do Divine Diva thirty three dot webs dot com and you can find me that way. Thank you. Again, take care and be blessed. Bye.